Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 12th, 2019. Holy cow, yesterday was pretty amazing, wasn't it? We had just an absolutely relentless melt higher yesterday. If we take a look at a short-term chart, I'm going to grab a just a quick 15-minute chart, and you can just see that relentless melt to the upside. And we had a huge surge right at the end of the day as all the dark pool activity was consolidated to the market. Um, pretty amazing um, in this rally how strongly that moved yesterday. And what we're looking at, I mentioned this before, is that rotation from value play uh, or into value plays. We're, we're selling off those long-term trends that have been moving up here for the last several months, and we're seeing institutions roll into value plays. If you guys want to do a quick study of that, take a look at a some of the value ETFs like, oh, maybe IJJ. Look at this remarkable spike, this move. Um, in these uh, value, this is a mid cap value ETF. Take a look at SPYV, um, just a massive um, um, rotation into these value stocks. JKF might be another place that you could look. Just we went from nothing to everything all at once, um, powering into these value stocks. That is making us just, um, and, and, and the other part of that is a lot of the value stocks that have been so depressed are high cap or not high cap necessarily, but high weighted um, stocks in the indexes. So we're getting this change, this shift where these higher weighted stocks are moving up. So for example, you take a high weighted stock like um, JPM and you move it up this sharply, you have major reactions to the index levels. You move Goldman Sachs this massively and you have a big shift in valuation levels of the indexes and that's what's going on right now um, you add that with the idea that the ecb is likely going to provide a stimulus package and the fomc likely going to do some make some kind of accommodative move themselves next wednesday we are in a situation where the market just can't help itself um, it wants to go up and um, we're pushing uh, this morning in a gap up open. Um, you probably saw that last night. La um, the president delayed in what he's calling a goodwill move. He, he has delayed the October 1 tariffs until the 15th. And as you can see, we're getting a gap up open this morning. Um, and we're really looking to maybe test all-time highs in the market. It seems kind of odd that we could shift over. We still don't have a deal. Remember, all all we have is a is an agreement to talk um, on the tariff situation. We do know that companies have been struggling. That there are still um, warning signs of possible recession out there. But the market doesn't seem to care about that. Everybody is just buying like crazy. We're bailing out of trades like um, um, security trades like TLT uh, bonds are being sold off heavily, just dropping like a rock right now. Um, and a lot of that money is being plowed into risk plays um, in the market. If we take a look at um, uh, GLD, those safety plays like gold selling off strongly, money flowing toward value plays. If we take a look at SLV, silver selling off strongly, money flowing to value plays. So pretty interesting how this rotation is occurring and how it almost seems to be orchestrated amongst all of the institutions um, in an attempt to um, you know hit all-time highs in the market. They just they're pushing hard here to make that happen. So um, this morning, we're looking at a test. This morning gap up. We're going to come up here and we're going to put a hard test 
on these all-time highs in uh, the Dow, whether or not they can actually push that through and hit those records, that's yet to be seen. One of the thing I would ca- things I would caution you on is we are up, at the close of yesterday, we were up over 1,100 points. This will put us up over 1,200 points in eight days. So in eight days move, leaving big gaps behind, we have rallied relentlessly. Now, you want to be really careful in chasing something that's moved up that far um, because profit taking could come in just as quickly as this reversal to suddenly move higher came into play. So watch that pretty close Um, at any point in time. Just keep a close eye on uh, that price action. It, It wouldn't be um, out of the ordinary, it wouldn't even be odd if we had a a pop up and 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 sell off for us today. You know, a pop and drop that could happen, and it would happen be happening right at resistance highs, which wouldn't be all that odd. Um, however, I'm not predicting that that is going to be the case. Um, e- we could either rally straight on through to new highs. We could see some selling. We could even see a little bit of consolidation. So keep a real close eye on that, and just be really cautious about chasing um, this move this deep into this rally. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY doing exactly the same thing, rallying just absolutely relentlessly. A massive straight up move that we've had here in this market uh, to attack um, possible all time highs in the market. So we're up here really, really close to those all time highs. I think pushing this far, it just seems un- unlikely to me. If the indexes, if the institutions can get this high to getting that new headline of new record highs in the market, it just seems to me like they're going to press it up there to get it. And so watch that pretty closely. We could actually hit new records in the SPY today. If we do happen to find sellers, if sellers come in, if there's perhaps we get bad news, you know, right now we've we've got bad news over in Europe. They're expecting a recession in Germany. Um, that could certainly uh, cause some uh, some trouble if the ECB doesn't act in um, in a way that um, the market would hope for uh, providing a larger stimulus package, then we could see um, selling begin. But other than that, let's. Um, I'm kind of expecting they're going to force this through to new highs. Can't imagine they would they would put on such an effort and then miss a target um, in in that breakout. So watch that close. Uh, the Qs Qs also rallying up nicely. Big beautiful morning star type pattern here in this move even though we have all of these tech investigations and anti-tariff things going on all the issues out there surrounding we're just ignoring everything and just relentlessly pushing to the highs and if we take a look out here um, it really wouldn't be uh, that big of a stretch for us to move on up and test these all-time highs in the market so Um, Just keep a close eye just in case we happen to catch some sellers in here for some reason. Um, But, um, man, we're sure looking bullish here. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM has just been sick, 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 sick. And then suddenly... Um, in this rotation toward the those value plays, and I apologize for all these lines on here, just a bunch of different uh, trade layout setups that we've been talking about in right way options, but just flying through, flying through um, the, those resistance levels. It just looked like there was no hope here for IWM, but then suddenly all of this value, move toward value, has really spiked us up in a big way here, breaking the downtrend. Now, the the important thing here after such a parabolic move, and by the way, I call this a parabolic move, um, we need some kind of a rest consolidation or pullback because we've seen moves that get very, very strong reactions like this. And if they they can't hold support, they swing all the way back down. So hopefully that's not going to be the case. And I certainly wouldn't expect it with this kind of move, but we do need some kind of a rest consolidation or pullback to prove that we can hold a higher low in here before we get 
too overly encouraged um, with IWM um, breaking through that resistance up there. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX uh, dropping back down into a 14 handle. Um, uh, just kind of amazing with all the things that are going on that nobody has fear in this market at all. So we're dropping, we're, we're breaking down through levels of support. Next probably level that we could try and find a little price support here in the VIX is down in here off of this downtrend and off of this little support area in here to see if we can catch a little uh, support off of there. That would mean a little bit of selling coming into the market. And that wouldn't be odd uh, considering how high we have moved this rally um, all at once that selling could come in at any time. So watch these levels down in here uh, for that possible. I'm not going to say um, suggest that that's what's going to happen, but that possible place where we could see some profit taking coming into the market. Let's take a look at T21. 22 now t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio and this is um um what i um suggest is really showing an extreme um we're poked up here uh, we're approaching 100 in uh this chart and you can see when we reach up into these levels we typically pull back doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse but we typically pull back and this morning's gap up open is going to put us right up there uh very very close to that 100 level where we have stretched this rubber band really really far to the upside so don't be too surprised at some point in time um, we start seeing some profit taking coming into the market. But I also wouldn't be too surprised that if we don't just crush right on through those resistance highs as they um, they just punish anyone still holding any short trades and squeeze every short trade out of the market um, in, in this relentless move up. So watch that pretty carefully. Um, either thing is possible and we could really certainly stretch this even further. Um, but just watch that closely because we're reaching the end, I think, of this run. In the next day or two, we should reach the end of this massive run and maybe see some consolidation or some selling uh, to take some of those profits. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar does have uh, things on it that we want to pay attention to today. We have the CPI out here at um, 8.30 a.m. this morning. That's going to be a very big deal. Um, those are, that's an important number. And we just had, we just had um, the ECB rate decision come out, European Central Bank. Um, cuts the deposit rate and launches a new bond buying program. So they did provide that stimulus package. And as of the news, uh, futures have Dow futures have jumped uh, th almost 40 points um, in, in that in, in just a few moments. So um, we're pushing higher. We're getting accommodative policy. We're getting all of these things going in, um, creating this situation. Right now, Dow futures are up nearly 100 points. So we've gained 50 points in just a few moments in time. Um, keep an eye on these jobless claims this morning. Also, we have natural gas. I wouldn't expect that to move the market at all. And I kind of doubt Treasury budget and Fed balance sheet will move the market at all today. But keep an eye on these this morning. CPI will be kind of important for us. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, on the earnings calendar, we only have about 25 companies reporting earnings today. But we do have a couple to... Whoops. We do have a couple earnings that you might want to make a note of, and those would be um, Kroger, KR, is reporting earnings today. Now, Kroger's been coming up really nice and strong um, here in this round of bottom breakout pattern, moving up, uh, tagging that 200-day moving average, which really is the ultimate target in the round of bottom breakout pattern, and um, now reporting earnings this morning. It looks like they're 
they might be gapping up just slightly. Maybe they've already reported, but keep an eye on Kroger. Another one would be AVGO uh, Broadcom um, reporting earnings today. So we'll want to keep an eye on Broadcom on that move. So watch those two stocks as we head into those earnings reports. So with that, everyone, hey, Ellen, I want to wish you a great day of trading. I want to wish you great success in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button there on YouTube and then also click that um, bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I uh, post one of these videos. You know, right now on YouTube, we have more than 600 videos and, and and uh, a lot of that is because every day I put out a video like this to try and help traders um, think about how they should approach the market to the today. Now, I'm not trying to predict anything in these videos. I, in fact, I, I completely reject the idea that we should be predicting which way the market is going to go. What we have to do is look at all the possibilities, assess that risk, and decide how we're going to approach the market for the day. And if you find these videos helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. And I got to tell you, most of those comments are so humbling to me. Um, it's, it's truly amazing. But um, if you guys want to, um, if you believe this is helpful and want to help other people, folks by clicking that thumbs up and leaving a brief comment any kind of comment that is it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks um, and our channel grows and we continue to share this uh, this information with more and more people so thank you to everyone who does do that you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it so with that let's take a look at some stocks now i'm going to show you some stocks today that are um, that have set up and I'm going to show you um, the setup that we use for this but these were all trades that we talked about during the live session of right way options yesterday and um, the results um, yesterday is uh, uh, well uh, we had a very happy people in right way options yesterday because of the kind of trades that we identified even though we are very extended in this move there are charts out there putting together good potential entry points and if you go back and look at some of the training videos that I have on YouTube you will find classes on this very subject okay so I'm going to show you just a very simple chart which is two moving averages a three exponential moving average and an eight exponential moving average and we took a look at a few charts and the pattern that we're looking for is we're looking for that that uh, price action that moves the three moves above the eight but not the crossover we're not looking for the crossover we're looking for the crossover and then that rest or pullback consolidation a pullback opportunity a consolidation of some type and we're looking for those entry points in here so with that um, explanation in mind take a look at marvel Brought up Marvel during our live session yesterday, and I actually put in two price targets here, one being a 15% price target, one being a 20% price target. And that entry, um, stop loss right in here, there's that pattern. And you can see um, traders in right way options yesterday that took this position. Some of them have already closed those trades with 15 plus percent uh, gains in that position in just one day trading that very simple pattern. But but I want you to notice how that pattern is very repeatable. It repeats itself over and over and over in charts where we get that three holding above the eight and then we get that little pullback and buyers stepping in and those trades repeating themselves over and over and over for the long trade. Works just as well for a short trade, but right now I'm gonna be pointing out stocks um, for that long trade. Take a look at AMAT. AMAT, similar pattern, move up, little resting pullback, 
bang, there's that price. And we're looking at this, maybe pushing up and attacking these all-time highs. Um, folks yesterday reported from the time we uh, brought up this trade, reported as much as an 18% gain in one day um, on this position in AMAT using options, obviously using option contracts. If we take a look at ADSK, ADSK was another one brought up yesterday. There's that pop above, that little pullback. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm showing you a two-day chart. I don't know why I had a two-day chart. There's that beautiful pattern that we're looking for. And that push-up, pull-back, and pop. There's that trade. We caught that one early on yesterday in this move. Really nice profits coming into that trade already. And we might expect with this bullishness in the market for this to move on up. And right way options folks know that if we get that gap up, that move up, quick move up in the morning, particularly in an extended market, that it's wise to take some profits out of that trade to pull some of that money off, have that winning uh, position coming into play. Um, we also talked about CPB, CPB yesterday. There's that move again, um, CPB, that pullback. There's that opportunity to enter that trade and pop. Nice little simple move, um, good profits in that trade. Um, currently, Rightway Options is holding a CPB trade that's up um, almost 50%, been in it for a while. And so there's those moves and that very simple price pattern that repeats itself over and over and over. And guys, um, there's a lot of these price patterns out there. And here's the thing, I'm showing you these price patterns on a daily chart, but I will tell you that um, it doesn't really matter if it's a daily chart, if it's a, um, a an intraday chart, a 15 minute chart, a five minute chart, a um, any any midday period, that same pattern repeats itself over and over and over in charts. If you guys are interested in that, take a look at some of the videos that I've posted recently here on YouTube and uh, take advantage of that really good potential price moves and great profits can be made um, in very, very simple trades. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best day possible today. Have a great one. Take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.